Hey yo guys, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Assassination, this is your boy Assassin Dave and welcome to another episode of Road to Mythic featuring the legend rank. Just for the thrill of it, nothing kind of it with you, just the thrill of it. And now we come to legend rank, the most important thing that you need to know is understand the basic of drafting. And maybe not so advanced, but you have to understand the basic of it, right? Read the meta, know what a hero is strong so you can win, so you can get out of legend rank. The only way to do that is do not give enemy team cancer heroes and while you team have the opportunity to take it. Now what do I mean by that? We call it the marksman meta because the red buff, the current red buff is the old turtle buff, right? You will have one red buff that is exactly the same of the old turtle buff. Where you're gonna get like what? You're gonna get like true damage, you're gonna get slow, it's absolutely insane. So you do not want to give them like cancer marksman that can farm really really fast. AKA Granger, AKA carry, uh, one one. And now, what you want to take is also, you can ban out Kufra, a hero that's really, really good in the right hand, but pretty bad in most of the players. Just in case, still ban it off, right, sometimes. Axe Borg, a lot of people don't know how to play it. In the marksman meta, it's not something you worry about. Uh, I'm going to tell them that give me a uh, Leo Mord, uh, and then so I can go mid, because I don't have a lot of marksmen. And obviously, the marksman, the one I just want to take, marksman, and they're going to give Fushin. Gushin Legend Rank in the right hand is also really, really good. A cancer hero that can snowball really, really fast, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and play something that more traditional, right? To show them the win rate, uh, smurfing. You can also use the technique of called smurfing, and so you can get what you want, which is a fact, you know? Uh, so you can tell them, yeah, yeah, give me the hero, please. Uh, I have like five heroes, so if you wanna give it to me, I can easily take you guys to victory, right? Uh, but obviously, I doubt they're gonna give it to me. Um, Smurf. Easy win. Let me MM. Uh, but yeah, apparently not. Apparently not. And then I, I don't have a lot of heroes, so we'll decide what do you want. What do we have to pick right here, right? Obviously, I'm not gonna go tank. Uh, tell them we need a support. We need a support. And then let's decide what I want to pick. Um, after I know what kind of hero I have, right? On the Smurf account, I don't have a lot of heroes. But talking about draft, you want to prioritize Granger. You want to prioritize one one if you know how to play it. If you don't know how to play it, go practice it, right? You want to practice a lot of heroes that actually have the opportunity for you to carry the game, aka the early game heroes, and then focus your energy on the bottom lane. Have bottom lane giving a lot of farm. So in this case, I'm looking at my situation, right? What kind of heroes can I pick? It seems like I don't have a lot of choices. I don't even have Axe Spark. This guy's like, pick Axe Spark. Why don't you give me a freaking Marksman, you dumbass, right? I told you I don't have a lot of heroes. No, I actually didn't tell him. But I don't have a lot of heroes on this account, I can see. So I'm probably gonna go to... I think I'm gonna go to Alpha, so I can solo top lane. Yeah, I don't have a lot of heroes. Let's go with Alpha this game. Really ran out of heroes. I could have played Leo Mord, but Leo Mord was taken by the opponent. Um, thanks to my Starlight membership, I was gonna play Leon, but was taken, and then this guy decided to take Bruno. Bruno is fine. Bruno is a hero that you can actually consider, but Bruno is also one of the strongest marksmen in the current game. But the thing is, you have to be played by the right people, right? You be played by a really bad person, aka the randoms. When I talk about this, it's mainly in a three-man and five-man situation, right? When you play Red Legend Rank. Make sure your team has the some basic understanding of oh if we're first pick let's not ban Granger so we can try to take it or uh, let's try to ban out Kufra so we can take Granger right or let's not let's ban out the marksmen so we can first pick Kufra if you're a really good Kufra player um, some basics you have to understand right or if right now right now what the meta is early game you can also choose to take Kimi mid because right now Kimi is opting for mage build because of the AP ratio right and for us I don't have a lot of good picks so I'm gonna play Alpha. And see how we do with Alpha. Her Alpha is really good sustain against Silvana, though. I'm not so sure. Uh, Kimi has a shield. Um, yeah, for their team, it's pretty hard to kill. But we'll try our best and forget the rest. So let's quickly walk into the gameplay. All right. So if we take a look at the composition, the enemy composition is, to be to be frank, a lot weird. Very weird. Also, our composition is not the best, but enemy composition is very weird. Also. So let's go ahead and fight him because we do have our second ability regen uh, on a second notice. So you can see right now, I'm gonna go back to full HP. Whereas Leo Moore is gonna take free damage, right? He's gonna probably use first skill like right about now. So let's go ahead and just use our second ability swipe him. Yeah. Continue to poke, guys. Continue to poke because you have sustain and the opponent doesn't. And when that happens, you wanna take advantage of that, right? 
Instead of letting that go, I don't know what Kimi decided to do here. I think Fushin is by himself. Yeah, uh, because the, we have Kadida, guys. We have basically we have no support. Um, Fushin is not gonna have the easiest time uh, by himself. That's just what it is. So let's go ahead and take out this wave. It's Legend Rank, guys. So you're gonna ideally you want to have two support, one tank, one off tank, and a sub and then like a top laner and mid laner. But that's not the case this game. You can see. Mm, yeah, it's very unlikely for me to take this. Gushen, are you level 4? No. He's not level 4, but Leomore is, so that means he's in a lot of trouble right now. Uh, I don't think I can save him. Let's see Let's see if I can slow him down here, just to protect him. Oh, nice knockout. That means he's dead. Good job. So, with that being taken down, let's go ahead and take our level 2 jungle uh, tank item. Jungle item. So, this way we can farm better. Oh, the bug on the first skill. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ideally, go back to our topics, guys. Ideally, you want to have, um, you know, two tanks, two supports. Not necessarily two tanks. But you'll have two supports and then... Oh. So, two supports and then uh, one mage, one marksman, and then one off laner, one fighter, right? You can see right now our team, entire team went bottom. That means mid lane is unprotected. So, we rotate to mid and take this wave. Um, this also is probably where you're gonna get your, your farm from uh, most of the time because they're top lane You don't have a lot of jungle You can see uh, Let's go ahead and take this Two people top. They do have a shield and the red tree. So Leo more the target I can go for but uh, Kimi Because of the shield it's gonna be a little bit harder to kill So let's just go ahead and go from wave to wave and then just keep on farming right our mid lane is still bottom But they're on rotation back to mid um, So hopefully they can get it in time Let's check out this turtle. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and just use first go to, to take it out. I like to do this just to aggro the turtle. Uh, Gushin is still sitting bottom lane. Seems like he doesn't care about mid. Our mid lane has been weakened for the past uh, a minute and a half. <laughs> Nobody went mid whatsoever. I'm gonna keep on dragging this turtle. Leo more. Ooh. Okay. Don't want to get horse run now. That's fine. Hmm. Do some damage to him. That's about it. There's nothing weak. Nothing. Oh my god. They're truly bad. So nice job. That was close. That was close. That was close. Let me try to heal him up. Do the first skill. Do the ultimate. Right here. He will, hopefully people notice. Slow him down again. Slow him down one more. Doing true damage. And double kill for the Minotaur. Unexpected. So right now the next item I'm going to build is the Queen's Wings. This item allows me to get a little uh, very defensive stats. Uh, when I'm low, I can take a very little damage. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just all the way and there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, I'm going to follow up with another engage. He doesn't have Purify. It's easy kill. Yeah, I see someone in this bush. Didn't get it. Let's quickly back out. Using ultimate engage, not getting anything is really bad. It's really scary. So what you want to do is quickly hide in the crack of shame, you know, so you don't you don't die, right? Oh, nice ult, so Anna. Nice ult. You know, unfortunately for you, I'm really, really farmed. So let's see if Minotaur want to engage right here. I'm going to follow him up. Uh, yeah, follow him up. One more second ability. Easy kill. Uh, now I have my core items. I'm going to go ahead and finish my Blade of Despair so I can one-shot people. I already mentioned in the Epic rank, you got to understand your role. Don't go across the map doing nothing. Like, it's it's not productive. It's not. It's not. So I'm going to go ahead and just use ult on him. And then second ability. And then, and then first skill. Bye-bye. Right? I don't know why you want to fight... Uh, uh, yeah, I don't want to fight me. I have 7,000 gold. Let's have three. This guy, this kid has 4,000 gold. Yeah, I have 7,000 gold. I have 3,000 more gold than him. I can literally one shot him, as you see. Let's take top lane tower. Um, and if Leo more comes in, let's try to kill him. Right? Again, we're really strong right now. So, what are you doing, dude? What are you smoking? What are you smoking? Why are you trying to do this? Why are you trying to do this? Right? What are you trying to do this? One more? Two damage? Bye bye. <laughs> Easy shutdown. Uh, again, our bottom side jungle is completely uncleared because our marksman has no idea how to farm. He's only 7,500 gold and um, I'm 90 something, some, some, something uh, farm, right? Because this guy don't know how to farm. Uh-oh, 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 nice, nice, Katita, for getting it. Little Leo more just hiding in this bush. And then let's go, you go ahead and use our first second skill again. And ult him up, right? Ult him up. There's nowhere for you to go now. Let's go ahead and use my ultimate right here and probably use our first skill, second skill, do some damage and watch out for Leo more on the side. And boom, right? Swipe, swipe, 
one first skill, I got a kill. And then obviously, Bruno claimed all the head in the very end. But we all know who did the most amount of work, right? We all know. We You don't know, but we all know who did the most amount of work. When you get into the legend rank, when you play with your friends, you gotta understand Granger, Ron One, Lilia, all those heroes. Maybe not Lilia, because not too, too many people know how to play Lilia. But in rank games, Granger, Ron One, all those snowball cancer heroes need to be banned if it's not being taken by you. That means if you're a first pick, you have two picks, right, on each side. You don't want to ban a marksman. You want to see what they ban first. Your second ban, you want to make sure you only leave one hero out, right? One hero out, one of the marksman out. So you don't want to ban either. Then you can pick either Granger or one one. So first pick, do not ban um, marksmen, right? On a, if you're a first pick, first ban. The first ban, do not ban marksmen. The second ban, think about it. And then for opponent, if you're on the if you're on the second pick, let's see if you can get a second pick this game. Then you really want to make sure you you take out you take out both of the marksmen, so the first pick didn't get it. So with that, let's quickly jump to the next game or show you another band pick and another draft all right guys welcome back to the second game you can see this game we have second pick second bands and then enemy team banned one one so we're sure we quickly banned granger and on top of it we banned ling all those heroes are cancer heroes i call them in the legend rank all right ban those heroes that don't have the snowball potential or kill your backline potential and tell them that hey let me go mid and i'll carry you uh let me mid for free wins. You know, when you play Legend Rank, we're talking about ban picks, number one. Number two is we you know you're absolutely so comfortable with certain heroes that you can carry the game. Just tell the team to give you the farm lane, right? See, they're going top lane. And then tell them we need a support, we need a tank, um, you know, so then we can go, go ahead and do something, right? Look at enemy comps. They pick Aldos and Angela. Common picks in this rank. Angela is one of those heroes once you pick, you're not gonna do anything kind of deal. So, uh, no, we need a tank. We need a tank. We definitely need a support and we need a tank. Do not pick another Karina. If you pick Aura as a support, that's totally fine. But uh, right now, it seems like we're gonna have some random ass picks. Uh, we have Kimi, also one of the strongest marksmen in the meta. Obviously, our team play Kimi mid because Kimi is is mainly optimized as a mage build right now. Like I said, so if Kimi goes mid, it can snowball the game. You can rotate a lot faster than your opponents. On the opposing team of Selena, Kufra, Claude, Angela, and Aldos. Their late game, early game is all pretty strong. The early game they have Kufra, Selena. Their late game is Aldos and um, Claude. So it's all it depends on whether we can carry straight up, right? Can we actually out farm the opponent? Can I, can I one shot Selena and Claude? and dodging Kufra's CC, meanwhile at the same time. Because Kufra, this guy, also have Petrify. So he's going for a lot of crowd control. That just tells you I have to super farm, hyper farm, and maybe even carry the game. Aldo's gonna focus a lot on Kimi and Farsa. Those two people, Farsa get straight up countered by Selena and Aldo's. Kimi is the same thing, got straight up countered by Selena and Aldo's. So the stun connects, they're both dead. I play Leo more bottom. It's very important to understand that you gotta farm really fast. The rep buff on fighters is really, really good. People probably say, oh, in SCA, we don't have Leo more taking, you know, buffs and stuff. Yeah, in any region, you don't have this standard. Like, in competitive games, you're not gonna have Leo more taking buff. All right, Leo more probably gonna take flicker and all that. But this is not, this is ranked games. Your goal is try to carry as much as you can, you know? So you just gotta tell people, hey, I have like a really good win rate. Uh, I'm smurfing, so give me the carry roll. So you guys can, you know, take some uh, mediocre farm and let me carry your game. See if I can kill him uh, on, on his, yeah, there we go. Okay, Flirt comes out. I uh, got him to 1 HP. Uh, let's see if he re uh, recall right here. I'm really, really strong right now. So if he doesn't recall, just kill him. Uh, let's take a look at... Yeah, he's not recalling. So Let's one shot him. Right, there we go. Yeah, one, one shot. Right, there you go. So if you don't... Like I said, if you don't recall, you're just dead, right? If you recall, uh, you're going to lose the wave. So you got to put your uh, laner in that situation where um, they have to choose. Pick and choose. They cannot get both. Um, yeah, got it. Uh, there's nothing they can do. I have execution line ready. Uh, let's go ahead and just. Do you want to die? All right? Do you want to die? I can make you die. You know, shutdowns. Shutdown's something I like to get. It's really, really good gold. I don't know why he kept on chasing me, guys. That was just suicide. Um, so let's go ahead and take this tower first before we go for some other farms. Mid lane's gonna be defended by by the uh, battle wreck. Really, really good job. All right, this is for what you did. Bye bye. Slow. Give me a stun. There we go. Give him damage. There we go. Give me kills. Uh, nice. Okay. I don't. I don't like to to have Farsa. You know, stay in bottom. Obviously, you can see we're losing mid tower right now. 
Let's see if their blue buff is up, right? Because if their blue buff is up, I can definitely contest it. Off, off the wall. They have three people over here. Just gonna go ahead and take that blue buff, take use rare tree, and then get out, right? Um, <laughs> take their farm bottom lane. There we go. All right, come over here. Go do the skill crab. You gotta optimize your farm. Like I said, this game, the only way for you to win is to optimize, to get so much farm that it, it, it gets scary. So you can one shot majority of their team, then that's good. Then you're doing the right thing. So, um, yeah, rooted. Cannot go anywhere. Probably jump to the other side. Jump to the other side. Oh my god. Just, just let me. Just leave me alone. This game is so hard, guys. We have no top laner. We have no. We have no mid laner. Kimmy just refused to push. <laughs> now they're just sticking onto the bottom lane. Let's tell them. Tell them fight. Tell them fight. 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 Give me a taunt. Give me a taunt. Give me a taunt. Give me a taunt. Bye bye. Again, no one goes for the wave. No, just just everybody want to chase for kills. I gotta tell people like if they watch our videos, they'll understand like objective is the most important thing. So I have my ult in four seconds. Let's go ahead and go to the um, the other side. Do you want to die, Selena? Do you want to die first before I do something else? I can I can make you die first. Let's do this, do Lord. All right. If you wanted to die, I'm gonna make that happen for you. He didn't even do his blue buff. Okay. Yeah, I have to kill Claude, guys. Otherwise, our entire team is gonna vanish. I'm gonna take the buff. Right there, we go. Because it's very important. Our team doesn't know how to play, and then you give them the buff. You give Kimmy the buff. He's gonna die right after, as you see every single time. So you rather give me the buff, right? So I can carry the game. Because I have mortality right now. I see. I see Selena. I see Aldos. Let's wait. All right. Yeah, just walking your death. Then we're free to go. Slowed. All right. I can't move. I can't move with um. Yeah, got clawed. There we go. Just fight, just fight, just fight, just fight. Don't be afraid. Angel is low. One shot. This guy. Okay. There we go. Our team. This game is. Uh, the picks are interesting. Or I wasn't playing like a support, but it's fine. The thing is, our top laner wasn't staying on the lane, so our top lane getting pushed. We have a Kimmy uh, in your draft. Talk about this a draft, right? We have a Kimmy in your draft. The most important thing is for you to, to push towers because you're really aggressive. The Kimmy is such a strong hero; you can bully your laner very easily. But they decided not to do that. I don't know what they were doing. Um, but this game, we straight up just carried our team. Uh, so GGWP, guys, thank you all so much. If you like this video you're gonna like the next gameplay even better let's quickly let's quickly jump into our next gameplay all right guys welcome back to the third game of band pick you can take a look at our band pick right now the enemy team it's a legend rank so a lot of people don't know how to play 1-1 but ideally you want to ban 1-1 this game they first picked uh hilos and we took 1-1 and boxia some really good tanks starting off and we have padong on an off lane right this is exactly what you want you want a good mid laner you want an off lane fighter and then regularly marksman and two support right so uh, we have Balaric and Boxia. Our front line is really, really strong. Well, you took a take a look at enemy team. Their early game is fairly weak, right? They have Sun. They have Leslie. I mean, all those heroes are really weak. Hilo is pretty strong. Kadita is pretty strong at level four. But that's about it. Terizla is very clumsy pick as well. So this is a this is a game that you know just from the picks we have already won the game. So let's quickly walk into the gameplay. We can see how this is done. What is Lilia? Oh, he's going to steal. We gotta go help out. Does he have red tree? He does. He got it. Initially, when you when you are playing one one, you wanna get a mana totem so you can farm. If Fox have give me a stun, I think they're pretty dead here. No, in place. First blood and double kill. Oh, I don't have all now. Wait, so Legend can play with that now? Yeah, Legend can play with Epic, of course. I'm gonna ult this chat, uh, this guy right here. Yeah, this guy. Can you give it a stun? Yeah, I'm gonna go go to this side. Yeah. I have 30% extra damage on him, but this guy is like really, really tanky. Uh, Teresa's passive is like the lower he gets, the tankier he gets. So you can see, like, because of our draft, we we have much stronger heroes than the opposing team. We have Lilia, you know, like heroes that you don't see in this rank. But if you get Lilia, it's automatically GG for early game. Because look, Lilia is gonna steal the buff, and there's nothing they can do about it, you know? Lilia getting a uh, kill onto the mage, onto the tanks. I'm, I'm here, I'm here. Oh, 
Okay. I can ult now. Wait, he has a shield? Doesn't matter. He's still dead. I'm gonna go to the third ult. Um, yeah. <laughs> I can't get a third ult, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and take the third ult. They just keep on charging forward, which gave me a free ultimate. This is why 1-1 one -one is uh, banned in, you know, Mythical Glory ranked. Because this hero in teamfight is not, it's not like, rely, it doesn't rely on auto attack that much. Once you get an ultimate off, I mean, it relies on auto attack, but once you get an ultimate off, it's like, it's like, uh, you don't have to fight anymore, right? When you're, when you're farming with 1-1, um, or any marksman along the lane, your, your goal is always to, like, once you have the advantage, always to push towers. You can see right now, mid lane, Lilia, because Lilia refused to go mid, we're, we're mid lane tower is pretty much gonna fall. But let's see if we can get this, uh, yeah, it's, it's done. I'm gonna get this boob up here. Uh, when there is wave, always objective first over farm. You can farm on your way back, but you cannot like you, you can if you lose the opportunity to push, you lose the opportunity to push. But before you try to contest turtle, always take red, because um, unless you know it's a free turtle, right? Like right now, almost like right now. But um, I'm gonna give out a small cap and just come to the turtle. What are you doing? You just waste this ultimate. He's dead. Yeah, I'm not gonna ult the Hylos over there. Then come back for our turtle. Push bottom wave. 6400 gold, 7 kills already. 1-1, um, one, one, right? 1-1 one, one in legend rank. 1-1 one, one, is a, such a free win. If you wanna rank up and then try to... If you wanna look for one hero that's really, really fun to play, and then also like a like a free uh, free hero to rank up, like, you know, like almost 100% win, you gotta go for 1-1. One, one. Granger obviously is a good choice, but the Granger is always banned, right? A 1-1 one, one somehow in legend rank is not that banned. It's not that banned. So, you have a choice. Like, Bruno, if Bruno gets fed, that's like. The yeah, they're all dead here. Yeah. Yeah. One one's too strong. One one's number one marksman in the game right now. Uh, they're all dead again. No. Fucking Katita. Yeah. You give one one out in this rank, and then you don't ban it. It's just free wins. There's nothing they can do. It doesn't matter. They're all dead. Don't kill them. Oh no, Kadida's oh so bad. I cannot kill Kadida because it's, he's making himself immune. Yeah, I, what I mean is I just can't kill her. It's not bugged, it's just so crazy. Is that report? Why are you reporting me? Yeah, you can see how we all drafted them, right? With Legend Rank, you gotta understand how to draft. It's very important. Um, basic heroes, like like when certain kinds of heroes taken out, you have to take it. But obviously, if you're really bad at 1-1 one -one and 1-1 one -one is let out, do not play it. If you're really bad at 1-1 one -one and you still force yourself to play it, it's really horrible. You want to play 1-1 one -one in Classic for a lot of games. Because if you can't proc your ultimate, if you don't know how to use your first skill properly, 1-1 one -one is literally garbage. But if you know how to ult, then the team fights become unfair, you know? <laughs> There's literally no team fight. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go uh, kill them first. I'm coming. That's what I mean. In the bush? Yeah, where are they? Where are they? Where did Leslie go? Oh, he died. Okay. All right, never mind. Let's push top. We pull one one. Why? All right, give me an engage. Look, they just standing my stun, right? They don't know what I'm. They don't know how I'm stunning people, but they just standing my stun. Yeah, the rank difference is over. Yeah. Oh my god. I can't get out of this this wall. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, Valoric. Okay. 22 kills. It's an ace. Let's see if I can get a Savage here. I'm 1 HP. Um, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Our team is pushing, though! Oh, my God! No Savage for Dave. Too sad. GG. But by the way, if you like this episode of Road to Mythic, uh, if the draft uh, tips helped you guys, make sure to like, subscribe, turn the notification bell on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Just for the thrill of it, nothing kind of it with